Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. Well, it's a bumper episode for you this week, as Todd Altoff takes you through two different utility applications for the Mac desktop. So, over to Todd. Hi, everybody. One of the things every Mac user works with every day is the Mac desktop. The Mac desktop is something most of us take for granted, but there are some applications that help you customize, manage, and connect your desktop in some creative ways. So this week we'll take a look at two applications specifically designed to help you work with your desktop. The first application we'll take a look at is by Binary Age called Total Spaces. Spaces is something Apple introduced with Leopard and originally started as a grid view of virtual desktops. With Lion, Apple went to a row of virtual desktops, which for some changed how they interacted with Spaces. Total Spaces brings back a grid view of Spaces and adds a number of customizations to help you become more productive with your virtual desktops. We will take a look at how to use Total Spaces to get all of your virtual desktops set up to match the way you work. Now, one of the challenges many of us have is accessing our desktop Macs when we're not sitting in front of them. Screens by Adovia is an elegant application that helps you connect to and manage various Macs both on a local network and remotely. Screens is designed to replace the built-in Back to My Mac and VNC client and adds the benefit of allowing you to connect to your remote Mac desktops using both a Mac and an iOS device. So let's get started by taking a look at setting up Total Spaces. Okay, so here we are over on the desktop, and, and now before we take a look at Total Spaces, uh, what I thought we could do is just take a look at what's built into Apple with uh, Spaces with Mission Control. So if I just uh, come down here and I launch Mission Control, uh, this is Apple's uh, interface for Spaces. And as you can see, we have the current desktop that we're on here. We've got our dashboard up here, and we've got our desktops in a line here and if I come over here and hover you see I can add another desktop and I can just keep adding these in a row and so if I go back to my desktop here I can swipe into these different desktops just kinda of by going side to side and going back and so it's a simple way to use spaces now one of the problems that it might create however is if you need nine maybe you know twelve spaces let's say you've got a bunch of different spaces that you want to set up to have to go through all of them like this in a row to get to the one on the end and then be able to come all the way back to the one in the front uh, can be a hassle and it can make it difficult to actually be productive with spaces. And so that's one of the problems that Total Spaces is trying to solve. That instead of going through that process of having spaces in one line, it, sets up, it brings back the grid uh, view of spaces and allows you to do a few more things with customization to be able to get around those spaces a little easier. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and uh, go over to uh, the website here, Binary Age, uh, who makes Total Spaces 2. You can see we're on version 2, which works with Mavericks. Uh, it cost uh, $18 to set up, and as you can see from the uh, chart right here, this diagram, you can see that it changes the spaces from one row to a grid. And uh, like I said, it gives you various customizations and things in there. You know, if you scroll down, you can see some of the things that you can do with it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just download it. And so it does come with a 14-day uh, trial that you can test out to see if you want to use it first. So we're going to go and double-click on that. Let me just put this down here. And uh, move through the installer. And uh, it has an installer for it because it's more at a system level here. So we're going to agree. And that's the right place to put it. We're just say continue and then install. And so it asks us to authenticate. And we install the software. So it'll configure it, set it all up. And uh, let me just put down some of these open windows here so we can get a feel for what it looks like. And so as you can see here, if you have the uh, registration, you can put that in. It tells you how many days you have left. Uh, we're just going to put that down because we're going to use it right now. See, the installation was successful, so we'll close that window. And so now all we've got to do is launch it. So let's just pull up a Finder window here in the Applications, and there's Total Spaces. Double-click on it to launch it. And let me pop this down and just center this. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Total Spaces uh, application is really a uh, preference pane that you set up. And uh, as you can see, I've got the preference pane right here, and I've also got this little icon now uh, up in the top here uh, that allows me to also navigate through the various things that I set up. And I'll cover that in a minute, but I wanted to make you aware of that in terms of access. And so as you can see here, we've got this nice uh, grid view here. It allows us to uh, figure out how we want to actually set up uh, those spaces. 
Now, before you set up your spaces, there's a few things you'll probably want to do in your planning. Uh, what you want to do is figure out how many spaces do I need and what do I need those spaces for. Uh, that's one of the things that you want to figure out. Now, as you're organizing your spaces, uh, for some of you, you might want to set it up where you have spaces for different functions and different things that you do. So maybe you have a space for your uh, website stuff and web browsing. Maybe you have a space for productivity. Uh, maybe you have a space uh, for mail. Uh, think through how you want to set up those spaces ahead of time, and that will help you determine uh, what grid that you want to set up and how you want to make that work. So you can see right now what it's showing me in the blue is it's showing me the spaces that I already have configured and set up. And these are the ones that I had set up in Mission Control, uh, if you remember. If we just pull that up real quick, I've got the dashboard. I've got desktop 1, desktop 2, and desktop 3 right there. And so if I come back, there's a dashboard, and then it calls that 1, and then you got 2 and 3 right here. So you've got it gives us four even though we only had three desktops. So it already takes into account what we have set up. Now for some of you, you may not want to use dashboard uh, as a space at all. Maybe you never use dashboard widgets. Uh, to fix that, you can't do that right within total spaces. You have to do that within system preferences. So let's just pull system preferences up for a minute and uh, let's move this out of the way uh, so we can show them together on the screen. Uh, in system preferences, you go to mission control and you just basically uncheck this box here that says show dashboards as a space. And you notice that as I've done that, it goes away. Watch, if I click it back, it comes back. Now we've got four spaces. If I turn it off, it goes away, and I can get rid of the uh, dashboard spaces there. So that's, uh, that's one thing you can do if you don't want to have the dashboard. And so since I prefer not to, I'm just going to leave it that way. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit scofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial screencasts online membership. So that's scofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs>